G'day, this is Mimpy, our 38 foot moody sailboat. I'm Kim. <laughs> and this is Steve. We bought our sailing boat in October 2019 and are planning to sail the Med for a couple of years. Believe it or not, we appeared on Albanian TV and YouTube three times during the six months in the country. For some reason, as we walked from Marina Oricum to Oricum to do our food shopping, we could tell we were tourists. What the? The first time was in April 2020, during the first stage of COVID-19 lockdown. Guess what just happened? Can you still see? There's a little blue car back there. And for some reason, we look like tourists. And so they stop us as we're doing our little walk to Oricum for our daily shopping, I mean weekly shopping. And they are from Iranian news channel and they could tell that we're tourists so they're asking us questions about being in Al Albania and about COVID. So I'm going to be on telly. <laughs> it's exciting. They asked us a bunch of questions and dubbed over most of it in Albanian, of course. That story was how COVID travel restrictions had negatively impacted business and tourism in the area. We were a little bit concerned about our 90 day visa running out in Albania while we're here. Um, so I managed to find the Australian consulate for Albania, which is based in, found some, which is based in Rome. Um, I contacted them and they gave me a couple of email addresses here in Albania for me to contact about our visa. Uh, so I did that and they came back to me pretty quick which was good, saying that it's completely fine. They understand with COVID that um, we obviously can't go anywhere. We're going to have 90 days to play with, which we're excited about because it means that we can continue to explore Albania before we move on. Fast forward a couple of weeks and we are returning with our food shopping and another car with journalists from Top Channel Albania pull over. Very excited to find a couple of Aussie tourists stuck in Albania. The journos were very friendly and did a, f a whole feature on us being in Albania during COVID, which has more than 50,000 views. It was pretty surreal considering we couldn't understand what was said, but it was a bit of fun and entertained us when we didn't have much else to do during lockdown. Our first 90 day visa expired in early May and we were given another 90 days on top of that, which took us through to the first week in August. In July, I recontacted the Albanian Directorate for Border and Migration and was advised that another extension would not be provided and we must leave by 6 August. That information created a slight panic because officially borders were still closed and based on advice from authorities in Montenegro, we would not be able to enter without a negative COVID test. Another obstacle was that in Albania at this time, Obtaining a test was not possible unless we were showing COVID symptoms, which we weren't, so we were stuck. We reached out to contacts in Saranda, Oricum and Jures in Albania about trying to extend our stay and trying to get a COVID test, but without success. Then I had a bright idea. I contacted Mikel from Top Channel Albania about our situation. Mikel visited us again on the boat. We had a chat and created a plan for another story. He jumped into action and contacted a friend in Valora Health Department. This contact organised COVID tests for us. Then came the tricky part. We were told to expect a call from a medico and we had to pretend we had COVID symptoms so they would come to the marina to perform the test. It was quite nerve wracking taking that call, but it worked and the test was scheduled. Just received a call from the epidemiologist that we spoke to yesterday saying that the person that's going to collect our sample has arrived at the marina. So I've got a big grin on my face. I'm not going to pretend to be unwell, but we are wearing our mask as expected and we are off to have a sample taken to prove that we are not COVID positive and that we can leave Albania. Do, 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 do,
You are going to be very sweaty. What? Very hot. Very hot. Uh -huh, yeah. Hot suit. Well, that was an interesting experience. Interesting. I don't know if I'd use that. <laughs> I feel like I've been prodded by an alien. <laughs> it was, um, yeah, she comes out with her white suit and I just really wanted to laugh because it was so bizarre. But, um, yeah. And then our names, she's written your name backwards. It doesn't matter. But that's how yeah. a, a lot of their interpretation of Dang. English would be, like yeah. a, the sentence structure is backwards. So, and then they, I went first, I was brave and went first. <laughs> and they do a throat one and uh, I automatically gag. And then she shoves another one. And I say shove because it wasn't exactly gentle. I'm sure she's done a lot of these. Yeah. But they, uh, it's an uncomfortable feeling. Yeah. Both of us, watery eyes. Yeah, still, still watery. Still watering. Ugh. But apparently <clears throat> we should get those results. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, which is bizarre. Quicker than we thought. Yeah, so co project COVID testing. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not complete, but it's, yeah, it's in progress, yeah. in progress. After days of waiting in isolation, we got the results, negative of course, and we made a dash to Port Valora to check out and officially leave Albania because the test results are only valid for 72 hours. Our third Albanian TV experience was about the process to get us out of Albania, thanks to the generosity of Mikel from Top Channel and the Valora Health Department. Well, we are very thankful to Top Channel. We've really enjoyed our time in Albania. We are so grateful for their efforts and we really can't believe we've appeared on Albanian TV three times. Crazy. If you are interested in watching the TV clips, we have included the links in the description below. Army hearties. We take a trip to pirate country for international talk like a pirate day. Join us if you dare. Arr, till next time.